Hey friends, welcome back to another video here on our YouTube channel. In this video, I have my middle daughter, Kaylani here, and I'm gonna be showing you two of her hairstyles that she wore this past week for school and all her other curricular activities. So if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and come join our channel. We have plenty of videos on kid hairstyles and inspiration as well as hair care. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again let's jump straight into the video so if this is not known my daughters are filipino and black and each one of them share their own texture of hair kelani has these gorgeous thick waves Callista's hair is a lot more finer with waves and kalia my oldest daughter has the biggest thickest amount of curls i have ever seen for this style on Kehlani, I had found some cute, colorful rubber band hairstyles on Pinterest and I wanted to try to recreate it with, of course, adding my own little flair to it. So I've done these small parts and added the colorful rubber bands and I kept with the same color scheme and color pattern. For me, it just looks good if you want to go for a complete, you know, just random colors. Absolutely. It's always fun. And with at this age, I try to do as many fun hairstyles as possible, although Kehlani prefers just like a simple ponytail and every now and then I get to talk her into trying something new so I did two uh, triangles in the front where they came forward and made like a little bang and I braided those down and then the two I'm going to create two on the sides on each side by the ear and they are going to go up so they can create a bun at the top of the head and I am using elastic rubber bands I purchased these off of Amazon most of our hair accessories are on our Amazon storefront so if you wish to check those out for your little one I will have the link down below in our bio and it'll be through our website so now I'm parting off a small section so I can put all of this into a small knot bun. I wanted to do a bantu knot on top. I was debating the curls or a bantu knot and I felt like she would prefer the bantu knot over the curls because we're gonna do the other half of the hair in curls. So with the bantu knot, you're simply just twisting the hair and then wrap it in around until it forms a nice bun or knot. And not too tight because you don't wanna cause too much tension and then I'm going to secure it with a regular rubber band. Now for her curls, I had used a new hair cream, but I did not care for it. So I'm not going to recommend it. It looked great for the style, but the longevity, it did not work well for her hair. And it actually made her hair a lot more matted than usual. So I definitely won't be returning to that one. And I ended up throwing it out. So right here, I'm just diffusing her hair because I don't like her to walk out with soaking wet hair. And then I'm gonna add some clear and white beads to those braids that we created in the front. So I like to secure the end of my beads by folding over the end piece on the last bead and then securing it with a rubber band. Then we have this little bit of hang time hanging out and all I do is re-thread my bead threader through the braids and I bring that hair through the threader and pull it through all of the braids so it's not sticking out as much. And now I have this nice clean braid with no extra hair just hanging out. This style lasted Kehlani for only two days and it's only because of the product that I used on that second half of her hair. It just did not cooperate well. And sometimes I have a hit and miss with new hair products. So moving on to the last hairstyle for this video. So like I mentioned before, Kehlani really loves just a simple bun or a simple ponytail. She's not for all of the girlies and the frillies and the bows and the glitters like I am. And I, of course, appeed her wishes. It is her hair and if she wishes to only wear it in a single ponytail or bun, I try to, uh, you know, I try to go with it. I do add my own little flair to it though. Like sometimes I'll add in some snap clips. Um, this time I decided to kind of keep that theme of having these two twigs kind of hang out in the front. I'm going in with some eco styler gel to lay all of her edges as well as her ponytail so her hair isn't super frizzy. It was definitely brushed out in this video so it's a lot frizzier and bigger than usual. And I'm using a very stretchy extra large ponytail holder to secure her ponytail. Once I have that in place, I'm then going to two strand twist her ponytail so I can create another bun slash band two knot on the top of her head. Mm -hmm. 
Now, instead of securing this bun with a rubber band, I secured it with a couple of bobby pins. I put at least three. I try to put one on each side of the bun to make sure it's not going to come out. Kalani is very active and she loves to run around and she always comes back with whatever hairstyle I put in her hair completely sweated out, frizzed out, just, and she never comes back home the way she left. And that's just one of the many, many challenges when it comes to styling Kaylani's hair. And that's probably why she prefers to just wear a regular bun or ponytail. I added a little bit of eco salad gel on those two twigs in the front just to kind of help with the definition because they were looking a little fri frizzy. And then I'm going in with my snap clips because that's the only like decoration I can put on her that she's not snatching out of her head. I went in with three to kind of match her outfit and that will complete this look this style lasted her just for the day because she had wash day coming up that weekend but she loved the, the her bun and it wasn't too much of a fuss or a hassle we greatly appreciate you guys checking out our video for today for kids hairstyles if you would love to see more please click the next video to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video to let us know if this is content you would love to see more here on our channel. Be blessed and be safe.